I'm in Florida. In Florida, New York? No, oh, I'm in Florida. You're in the state of Florida. <laughs> yeah, I'm on vacation right now. Yeah. Oh, nice. good for you. That's yeah, it. thanks to Greg Sobo. <laughs> <laughs> So, Hello. so how did you end up coming to the firm? Oh, man. So I got referred by a family member. Okay. That, that had got referred by somebody else. You know, the people who like the people. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, word of mouth. That's the great, best way to do it. Yeah. Great form of networking. And so one of my cousins had actually put my sister on to them or whatever. And ever since then, it's been amazing like almost like 15 years wow excellent service dedicated work and it's like it's not even like it's rarely that you get a chance or opportunity to interact with with lawyers and 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 the paralegals and and it feels like a family most of the time you see commercials and people who are trying to like advertise or gimmicks or get you know sway you over their way Right. It's really none of that. It's really none of that. Like Greg is literally the golden boy. I always tell him he should have, he should have ran for politics. Like nice. <laughs> <Too smart. laughs> young Kennedy. Yeah, he got he, young Kennedy quality. He's charming doing, and intriguing. Yeah. He, yeah, he's doing what he's people. he's doing what he loves. So, um, what happened with your? Do you want to share what happened with you? Why you went over there? Um. Yeah, I had gotten into a car accident. Like I don't drive. I, like I don't know if I'm accident prone. Nothing, <laughs> but I got into always get into car accidents and I'll be passengers in the car accident. Like this is my first, my first accident. Like I never had a bone broken or nothing. And um, so my sister, my cousin referred my sister. My sister referred me. Went there, met the golden boy. He lit me up with a smile from 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 the start. It was welcoming. The energy was good. The atmosphere was great. Everybody was professional. It just felt it was like a warm, warm feeling atmosphere everything and then so we just talked like i didn't meet anybody else i met him directly um he didn't pass me off or call me up anybody i met him directly and it's been like that ever since i don't i don't know how to explain it like certain certain lawyers you meet and they deal with them and they get big because i watched greg grow from the beginning and um so every um, time you them. every time you try to call the law firm you always got your your attorney on the phone to answer whatever questions you had right not only that, not only did I get my attorney on the phone, like, at, at, after we established, like, a relationship, like, in a bond, like, working, just, like, talking, building with each other, like, I, I had this personal, like, personal number, like, so that I can get in touch with him if I can't, if I need anything. That's the type of VIP and warm, you know what I'm saying, dedicated, not just little big chiefs, like, being in the field with us. You know, it's it's interesting to hear you talk about how you have his cell phone number. It's something that I keep hearing consistently, and it's not something that many people are willing to do at all. And for it to be something that he does from case to case, really, I think, it's is very powerful. Of, yeah, it speaks. Yeah, it speaks. It's probably unheard of volumes, definitely in this day and era too, because like you got all types of people that like stalkers, crazy, like yeah, you know, it's like uh -huh. you know, everybody. It's a whole bunch of things that go on. Like you can take the risk of being a rat or whatever. His composure, his discipline is remarkable. Yeah. Like what? he, I've never seen him. I don't know. Even under pressure, he's. That's why I say he should be a politician. No, no, no. We don't want him. We want him to stay right where he is. Yes. No. We <laughs> yeah, want him to be helping other people just like you, Andrew. Yeah. Well, Andrew, yeah. I just want to thank you so much for calling in and sharing your experience. We really appreciate it, and I'm sure the no, listeners appreciate it as well. No, thank you. Thank you. I just want to shout out Nothing to Lose Records real quick. Nothing to Lose Apparel, my clothing line. You go check out at Lady Sassy Squ at Lady Scorpion, the DMX remix. Okay, RIP, listen, DMX. we can't do advertisements here. <laughs> I'm sorry. But thank you so, so much thank for, you calling for calling in. And thank you for sharing. Appreciate and I'm it. sure that you've helped a lot of people to yes. be able to hear your story. Yeah, exactly. And thank you, guys. Have All a blessed right. day. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao. But anyway, you know, it's nice to hear people who have had had to go through any kind of experience like this realize how appreciative they are of Greg Sobo and the Sobo and Sobo law firm. Right. And and to think that people recognize it's as wonderful as Greg is, that it really is a team effort to hear people calling out their attorneys specifically, their paralegals specifically. Yeah, you never heard people talking about paralegals. Right. And people recognize because, you know, at, at the firm... The paralegals are just as involved. It is a team effort to get 
the people what you know the clients what they need so in order to be able to do that and to be able to have that availability i think i think the clients really appreciate being able to know that they have access to this many people not just one phone number not just one person but so many phone numbers for so many different people so that they can get the help what you know when they need it right because that's one of the biggest complaints with these type of personal injury law firms is I can never get my lawyer on the phone. I can't even get the paralegal on the phone. I can't talk to anybody. They never return my calls. Then it doesn't matter. Right. And what What's the point of being yeah. there? So here you have a law firm that's doing all of that. And, you know, as time goes on, people, you will learn more and more because at least once in everybody's life, they're going to have a personal injury story. I mean, it just is the way we live in a society where things like that happen. Right. You know, you're like me. I walked in a store and never expected to trip over something. Or you're, my son actually had a car accident um, about three months ago. He was stopped at a light. We were talking before. Right. And the guy behind him, a younger gentleman, mm-hmm. uh, was not looking and ran into him. And Ugh. he slammed him into the car in front of him. Oh, my goodness. So the only thing he said to me is, thank God my daughter wasn't in the car because she would have been in the back seat right. in the seat there, the right, child seat. Right. And um, he's got, you know, they almost totaled his car. That's how bad it was. I mean, you imagine you're sitting still and somebody hits you at regular force. I, I can't even imagine. Yeah, he was kind of freaked out for a while. I'm sure. And they have his car forever trying to fix it. Uh, and he, was, he said he was a clo- little under $1,800 to total it. And it was a brand new car. He had just gotten it, like, I think a few weeks before. So you can imagine the damage that was done. And so, you know, he said, I said, are you talking to a lawyer? He said, said, no, not really, because the insurance company is taking care of everything. Because he, and that was the thing I wanted to ask Greg, too. What happens when you have two people in an accident together, both have the same insurance company? So the insurance company told them, no, we'll take care of it because you're both our clients. So I don't know what that means or how that goes. I mean, if it was, if it, if I was involved in that situation, I would still talk to an attorney. I Knowing agree. what I do at this point, I would talk to an attorney. I agree 100%. And uh, so I'm going to be having a little talk with Mac later yeah. and uh, see if he wants to just have a chat with Greg, you know, just to see. Just to know what his options are. Right. Because that really was, that was pretty scary. I have I'm to sure. say. Uh, I don't know, you know, he didn't complain of anything. I think he probably had whiplash because normally that's what happens when right. you don't expect it. You know, you're in a car, yeah. it's standing still and boom. And you're expecting to stay still. You're not exactly. expecting to move. Right. And that's scary. Yeah, of that course. That really is scary. So, you know, it, I was thinking back to what Greg was speaking about this morning as we were, as we were talking about this and just the general idea of the insurance companies actually reaching out to you after you have an accident looking to settle before you have the opportunity to even speak with anybody so you know it just it it colors your perspective someone's coming to your house someone's calling you up saying oh i see you were hurt there was an accident you're entitled to this amount of money and i thought it was really valuable as greg was explaining to all of us that that might not be you know all that you're entitled to so you don't know and you won't know until you talk to an attorney and you find out and what your what your rights that's are. That's a really good point because people, if you're in an accident, no matter if it's no fault or not, there's no cost to you right. to, to talk to somebody like Greg Sobo or somebody who works at the firm, a firm of Sobo and Sobo because they're not charging you. And why not have experts tell you what you're maybe entitled to that you may not even know? It's like you're not gonna you're not gonna do. I would never do my own taxes. Well, right. S- certainly not for business, for sure. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So I'm calling my my accountant. Yeah. Uh, to who is Jack Berkowitz, by the way. Uh, I'm calling my accountant to find out the answers. I'm not gonna do it myself. Right. You have to you have to find the professionals in the field, and you need to trust them. Absolutely. So if anybody out there has any questions about personal injury in general, um, you can get more information on our website at sobolaw.com, or you can also call the firm if you have a case, you know, that you'd like more information about at 855-468-7626. And here's the, and if you're driving and you can't write it down, you can always email me at taylorwtbq.com. I'm happy to share the information with you. But you should always call up. If you have a, a chance to speak to a law firm like Sobo and Sobo, you really should pick up the phone and call. No questions are stupid. Not no. one. And you never know what that could change in your life. 
I think that from what I've learned in my time with the firm, the best thing that you can do is to call and to just get information because the information is is empowering you to be able to make good decisions. Forearmed, forewarned. Yes. Yeah. So you have the information. You're going to make the decision of what you want to do with it. But at least you have attorneys there that are going to try to explain to you what's the best way to move forward. Right. If there is one, if there isn't one. And they'll, they'll tell you that too. Yeah. And that would be an interesting thing to talk when you're on talking to the lawyers. Like, what type of cases don't you take? Or what type of cases do you think when people come and tell you about it and you have to say, you know, no. You know, it would be an interesting thing to hear what the lawyers have to say because I, I, would, I would think, obviously, they're going to have to do research. Right. So somebody comes in and says, this happened at this date, at this time, in this place. They have to go to the attorneys for that, whatever it may be, a store, a person, a service, whatever right. it is. And that conversation has to happen between their lawyers. Absolutely. So you're never going to find out on your own what, what the case is on the other side. You need someone representing you. We spoke this morning how I went with a friend of mine. She asked me to go to court with her. Right. And the judge said, uh, which one of you is a lawyer? And we said, neither one. And he said, goodbye. And he threw us out I of the courtroom. can't even imagine. Yeah. I mean, he but was it makes right. sense. It he makes was sense. right. He doesn't want people in there wasting his time. He needs people that know what they're talking about and how to handle this and what needs to be said. Because the law is very intricate. I mean, we have no clue, unless you're a lawyer, what that is. Oh, absolutely. I know that there was a case that I was... Uh, I was hearing about where somebody tripped and fell in the city and it was a sidewalk that wasn't level. Right. And the lawyer immediately said, it's not a case. And I remember being, you know, surprised and, and upset. You know, what do you mean? How, how can you say just off the bat, it's not a case? They said, it's a sidewalk in the city. And there are all sorts of nuances to the law that depending on where you are, where the property is, it's either a case or it's not a case. So... Right. It's important to speak to somebody to be able to better understand. Right. If you have, if you do have a case and then what are your options during that case? You know, there's a lot to it. Right. So, and the lawyers will also walk the people through the process because often we have people who are concerned, you know, what's it going, what's the process going to be like and to be able to get rid of a little bit of that fear of the unknown, I think is huge. Yeah, it is. So well, we're going to take our last break. It goes by really fast, folks. But if you have a question, you want to text or call us, it's anything about personal injury. Uh, 845-651-1110 is the phone number. 845-328-0886 is the texting number. No question is stupid. Remember that. We'll be right back. Sobo & Sobo is the number one personal injury law firm whose 50 dedicated attorneys' number one goal is protecting the rights and interests of those who have been hurt due to the negligence or recklessness of another party. Rest assured, our clients will receive the proper compensation to cover medical bills, lost wages, and other losses that can result from any type of accident. Whether you've been injured in a car accident or you've been the victim of medical malpractice or you've suffered a personal injury of any kind, choose the law firm whose motto is winning together by visiting SoboAndSobo.com. Hi, this is John Tesh. Tune in for great music and intelligence for your life on weekdays at 1 p.m. as we assemble the tips, the facts, and the news you need to be happier, healthier, more lovable, and more fun to be around. Radio worth listening to. We put the intelligence out there. You decide what to do with it. Hi, this is your favorite assemblyman, Carl Brabedek. And your state senator. Mike Martucci and we are teaming up for the Friday Roundtable where we'll be talking about what's happening in Albany. That's every Friday at 9 a.m. On, on radio worth listening to. WTVQ And we are back here with Allie Berman and uh, myself, Taylor, and we're doing Winning Together. I just want to shout that out when I say it. <laughs> because that's really what Sobo and Sobo is all about. It is. It's a team effort. It's it's a team of lawyers and support staff at the firm, and it's working as a team, winning together with the clients. Yeah, and winning for you right. and with you. So let's, do, again, just kind of reiterate a little bit about... Now, here's the other question I have before I forget. My, I have ADD, so I have my mind just racing. <laughs> when somebody's had a case and they've lost it because they didn't have a good lawyer, right? would Sobo and Sobo look at that to maybe retry that case? Or is once it's done, it's done? Um. I don't know the details specifically with that, but I know that it's not uncommon for people to 
switch attorneys and oh. to join the firm when they recognize that they're not being represented the way that they need to be. Oh, that's interesting too. So if you're in the middle of a case, now what happens, does the, you know, that maybe be a question for Greg or somebody from the law firm, but what happens when they do switch and they fire their other attorney? Does that first attorney entitled to any of the money they get they could in the be. settlement? They could be. Interesting. So there's paperwork. It's called consent to change attorney. Okay. And, you know, it, there's an agreement that is signed when you hire an attorney. So you have to switch to the new firm. And when you come to Sobo, you know, the lawyers will look and see what the last lawyers had done and see what their work product looked like, evaluate it accordingly. And an arrangement is, is, is you know, developed right. between them. Yeah, that's an interesting thing because we, I've known quite a few people who've had issues. Just, I mean, not so much only personal injury, but, but in, in general. general. Yeah. I mean, people going through divorce, the right. attorney gives them this song and dance and they think, oh, the greatest lawyer ever. Uh -huh. And then it's not, they're not returning your calls. They're not getting you the child support you need. I mean, right. all these things happen. Right. So, you know, when you, when you, you can't wait, that's my, what I want to get across. If you see that this person who's supposed to be representing you is not leave immediately because they're not changing. Well, I think it's like anything in life. You have to find, you have to find your way to advocate for yourself. Absolutely. It's a, so good, a good point. Wherever you are, whatever it is that you're experiencing, if you don't advocate for yourself, there isn't anybody who's going to. Yeah. And as soon as you do see the representation you have, no matter what type of law it is. Right. Go and, you know, talk to people who've had, like this gentleman who called before. Exactly. You know, they get a referral of people they've had experiences with. And I think that's a better way to do it. Now, do you have testimonials on your website? We have testimonials everywhere. I'm I sure mean, you do. The clients really and truly sing our praises. And I think that's why most of the people who work for the firm are there. It's because they want to be able to help people and to have that satisfaction at the end of the day to see these people and their lives, ha lives having changed for the better after these very challenging situations, I think it, it really speaks to them. So, I mean, emails come in all the time. You know, like some of the callers were saying, we send birthday cards. You know, we, we really, That's the, it, the, little, the little things and the responses that you get from doing those kinds of things is tremendous. Yeah, and I think that that's why we have relationships with people like our last caller, Andrew, was saying for 15 years. It's because of things like that. Right. That when a case is 15, you know, was 15 years ago, but you're, you're still, still sending birthday touch. cards 15 years later, I think that that really speaks to to who the firm is. Yeah, exactly. And you're not just a number there. Right. That's another key thing I've heard from people, too. Because as I said, I mentioned on the morning show, I'm not going to reiterate it. Right. But I had a really not such a great experience when I had an injury. And he allowed people to talk to me in such a horrific way when we had it de de deposed. And I, I got up and walked out of the room. And the lawyer came out after me and he goes, you've got to stay there. I said, I will not be insulted or disrespected. And right. if you're not going to stand up for me, then we need to end our friendship here. Right. And he, he convinced me to come back. And I said to them, if you continue in this type of mode, this is over and we'll see you in court. You're not right. going to disrespect me. First of all, everything you're you. saying is a lie. And I'm not interested in this conversation. It has nothing to do with this. It was just, you know, the, this is what happens on, in a lot of firms, but not with Sobo and Sobo. Right. You know, when you allow people to disrespect your clients, it's disrespecting you at the same time. It is. It's, you know, I, I think that the fact that you were able to stand up and say, I'm not going to accept being treated this way is, it's huge. And I think it's such a great example for other people to to follow it's not an easy thing to do no it's not it's again what you said it's to advocating for yourself yeah when you're hearing something about yourself that you know is not right you need to speak up don't but the fact that you did is wonderful and you know i think that for our clients we try to be that voice we try to do that for our clients yeah because most people wouldn't be able to do that right <clears throat> they, they couldn't i think it's great that you were able to but when you're in a situation where you're hurt and chances are you're not able to work. You're in a place of vulnerability and what you need is support. You don't need to be in a position where you have to be the one in the room saying, no, this isn't okay. That's and what your yeah, attorney should be doing for and you. And he did not. And on top of that, one of the injuries I had was on one of my knees, which I spoke at yeah. earlier. And they sent me to a doctor for the you know insurance company. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, nothing wrong with that. I said, are you insane? Ugh. 
I, I took out the picture of when I modeled. I said, take a look at my knee. Right. Take a look at my this knee This is my now. before. This is my this after. Is after. Uh, unbelievable. I yeah. mean, I don't know how I looked at the doctor after I said, how do you live with yourself? You're a physician and this is how you're speaking to me. I said, shame on you. Really? It was so blatantly obvious what happened. Right. You know, and so people, the reason I'm sharing that, because I don't think I've ever spoken about it. And the reason I'm sharing is because if you're in a position like that as well, don't wait, just fire your lawyer and get yourself Sobo and Sobo. If you're in a personal injury issue. I mean, it just, these are people that really listen to you and care about the outcome. I think the key is making a phone call, you know, picking up the phone, calling the firm, finding out what you're entitled to, find out what your rights are, find out, find out if you're being treated in, in a way that's appropriate and find out how you'd be treated someplace else. Whatever it is, wherever you decide to go, whatever it is that you decide to do, I think the key is to make sure that you're looking out for you and that the people that you have representing you are looking out for you as well. Yeah, that is the important thing. It's sort of like uh, being child uh, for a parent. You know, you you, right. you you wanna know that your mother and father are there to protect you. Right, and you can't be a number. You can't be, no. you know, you can't have your attorney quickly looking to see, wait, what, what case was this? Who is this? Who's calling me? You need to make sure that your attorney knows who you are and, and is giving you the care that you need. Yeah, no doubt about and it. And if your attorney isn't, then you need to find a different one. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I'm trying to, to, to say here. Like, you know, in your mind and in your heart, if somebody is really representing you. Of for, course. And as soon as you get that feeling inside, oh, first of all, in go. Your gut. Yeah, you your know. gut is always right for you. It's uh -huh. never wrong because it's you telling you what's right for you. Exactly. And so self-confidence tells you. It's trusting it. Exactly. That's the hard part, but you have to. That self-confidence, have confidence in your own decision making. Yes. Because your voice is going to say, this doesn't feel right. And if it doesn't feel right, move on. Right. It's the same thing in relationships, too. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's not right, it's not going to get right. It's not going to get better tomorrow. Trust me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have a few minutes left. I do a little bit talk about the law firm and how many the people that are there and maybe a little bit of the different type of personal injury cases they work on. So, you know, when Greg first joined his father in the firm, he, there were three people. And now I think we're up to... 180, oh, 180, 185, something like that, employees and 55 attorneys. Right. And our offices are spread throughout the Hudson Valley. And one of the things that we do really well is having the multiple offices. We're really able to give that personal attention throughout the area. And then we're also, you know, we span from up in Monticello to Middletown, to Newburgh, to Spring Valley, Poughkeepsie. And we go all the way down to the city. We're in the Bronx and we're in Inwood. And to have offices in each of these areas where we have attorneys and paralegals and teams of people to work on our clients' cases, you know, really gives an opportunity for the clients to be able to have somebody local, somebody who's there so that they're not the number, so that they're not... They're a neighbor. Exactly. It's somebody who understands. And so as this show progresses from week to week, what we're going to be doing is having attorneys from our different areas coming on, being able to talk about their experiences, talk about what's happening in their communities, because they're your communities. They're our communities. Absolutely. So. That's so important when you get the voice of the people that are representing, you know, right. Greg was saying early that they're doing things through, you know, Zoom or FaceTime, et cetera, if people aren't comfortable coming in yet. Right. So you do have these options. I just want to let people know right. that if you're not comfortable, right. um, even if you're vaccinated, you know you can get COVID. So you're not going to die from it. You're not going to be on a ventilator. But everybody's being very careful, and they should be. Of course. Because nobody wants to get COVID. Right. And so if you're more comfortable actually um, talking through your device right. with one of the attorneys, they're willing to do that. Right. Absolutely. A hundred percent. You know, when when the pandemic first began and we started go move to being fully virtual, there were still people who were hurt. There were still people who needed our help. And we moved very quickly to find technology to be able to support people how they needed to be treated and, and to give them the help that they needed and to continue you know, with the work that we were doing. 
Yeah, and Greg mentioned something this morning that I thought was wonderful, too. He said, I know a lot of people are saying that working at home sometimes is better. He said, for us, it was, you know, we had to do that. He said, but we love working together, and we also talk to each other. So we need that. And, you know, that social, same thing our kids need about going back to school. Right, of course. You know, like I said before, I'm very fortunate to be able to work with a great team of people. And after the pandemic hit, we very quickly went on Slack and we went on Zoom and we found ways to be able to communicate effectively, you know, but it's, it's very nice to be able to be part of the team. It is. And you have a great team there. Yeah. So people, we have a little less than a minute left. Uh, I just want to mention, uh, let Allie Berman's going to let you know how you can reach the law firm. I guess the best way is the website. Yeah. I mean, there you can call us or you can, if you're looking for more information, you can go on the website at www.sobolaw.com. Or you can call and speak to somebody at 855-468-7626. And you can always call us next week. We'll be in at 10 a.m. on Thursday at Winning Together. And you can remember, you can text in your questions, you know, if you while we're on the air. Uh, you can text in your questions at 845-328-0886. So stay tuned for Village Life with Mayor Newhart and Mary Calora.